everyone it's me again Mamaria and welcome to my channel so for this video we are going to discuss all about the operations and function we have the addition subtraction multiplication and division of functions okay so for example number one we have f of x is equal to 5x and g of x is equal to x plus 2 let's go first with addition so we have f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. So, itong f plus g of x, ganito lang din siya, no? f of x plus g of x. So, pinagsama lang natin kasi we're going to add those functions. So, we have f of x is equal to 5x plus g of x is equal to x plus 2. The next step is to combine the like terms. Since as you can see, 5x and x, so sila yung like terms. So we have 5x plus x is equal to 6x. And since wala naman ka like term si 2, so copy na lang dyan. Then 6x plus 2 is the answer. Okay, so let's move on to subtraction of functions. We have f minus g since we're going to subtract so minus of x is equal to f of x minus g of x so we have f of x is equal to 5x minus g of x is equal to x plus 2 so we have 5x minus x since sila yung both may x na variable so 5x minus x is equal to for x kapag wala siyang kasamang number automatic it is 1 so for 5 minus 1 is 4 so copy the x plus 2 that's why 4x plus 2 is the answer now let's move on to multiplication of functions we have f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x so we have 5x times x plus 2 distribution property we're just going to multiply 5x to x and 2 so we have 5x times x is equal to 5x squared remember kapag magmumultiply tayo ng variable ia-add natin yung exponent nila since meron na lang exponent x raised to 1 and x raised to 1 so we have 5x since 5 times 1 okay is 5 then x times x is x squared since 1 plus 1 is 2 then plus 2 so that is the correct answer i right, moving on to the division of functions we have f divided by g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x i right, so we have 5x as f of x over x plus 2. Ay, hindi na natin siya isi-simplify and that is the correct answer. Okay. So, for example, number 2, we have f of x is equal to 5x plus 1 and g of x is equal to 3x minus 2. So, moving on to addition, we have f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. So, we have 5x plus 1 is our f of x, tama, plus g of x is equal to 3x minus 2. Then, combine the like terms, 5x plus 3x, since sila yung like terms, is equal to 8x. Then, positive 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. So, 8x minus 1 is the answer. Okay, so next is the subtraction. We have f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. So, we have 5x plus 1 minus 3x minus 2. So, we have to combine again the like terms or subtract the like terms first. 5x minus 3x is equal to 2x. Then, 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. So, the answer is 2x minus 1. Moving on to the multiplication of function, we have f times g 
of x is equal to f of x times g of x. So we have f of x is equal to 5x plus 1 times g of x is equal to 3x minus 2. So we have to distribute or using distributive property we have 5x times 3x is equal to 15x squared 5x times negative 2 is equal to negative 10x then 1 times 3x is equal to positive 3x then 1 times negative 2 is equal to negative 2 Okay, so 15x squared. Since walang ka-like term si 15x squared dito, nakita nyo ba? Wala naman tong exponent na 2. And also ito. So, we are just going to copy it. Then, negative 10x plus 3x. Since sila lang yung um, like terms. So, we have negative 7x minus 2. Wala din siyang ka-like term. So, the answer is 15x squared minus 7x minus 2. So moving on to the division, we have f divided by g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x. So we have f of x is equal to 5x plus 1 over 3x minus 2. Since hindi na natin siya maisisimplify, so the correct answer is that already. Okay? Okay, so moving on to example number 3, we have f of x is equal to x plus 3 and g of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. So moving on to addition, we have f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. So yeah, add lang natin sila both. Okay, so we have f of x is x plus 3 plus plus g of x is x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, what are we going to do is i-copy muna natin yung walang ka-like term. So, as you can see, si x squared. So, we have x squared, then x and 2x since sila yung like terms. x plus 2x is equal to 3x. Then, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Then, the correct answer is x squared plus 3x plus 4. So, moving on to subtraction, we have f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. Okay, so we have f of x is x plus 3 minus x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, same process lang then. So, we have x squared, negative x squared kasi wala siyang like term since sama natin si negative. Okay, so x and 2x, sila yung like term. So, 2x plus x is equal to 3x, positive 3x. Then, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, the correct answer is negative x squared plus 3x plus 4. Okay, so moving on to multiplication, we have f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. So we have f of x is equal to x plus 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 1. x times x squared is equal to x cubed. Remember when you're when we are going to multiply a variable since x is a variable we are going to add its exponent so ito is meron siyang 1 so so 2 plus 1 yung exponent is equal to 3 okay the next x times 2x so we have positive 2x squared since automatically meron siyang exponent of 1 and ito so 1 plus 1 is 2 okay then x times 1. So, positive x lang siya. Okay, so we have, next naman is the second term. Distribute again. So, we have 3 times x squared is equal to 3 x squared, positive 3 x squared. Then, 3 
times 2x is equal to positive 6x. Then 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Okay, so what are we going to do is to combine the like terms since si x cube is walang ka like term sa kanila. So ibaba lang natin yan. Then si 2x squared, ka like term niya si 3x squared. Alright, so we have 2x squared plus 3x squared. The answer is 5x squared. Okay, next. Si x, ka like term niya si 6x kasi pareha sila ng variable. So, uh, kagaya nga ng sinasabi ko, kapag walang constant si x, it is automatically 1. 1x or x. So, we have 1 plus 6 is equal to positive 7x. Then, plus 3. Since wala naman ng katulad si 3. So, the answer is x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 3. Okay, so moving on to the division, we have f over g, or divided by g of x, is equal to f of x over g of x. So we have f of x is x plus 3 over g of x is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so since hindi na natin siya masisimplify, that is already the answer.